What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you stopping by for the first time, if you see something that you like here today, please don't forget to subscribe at some point. For those of you stopping by, they've been here before. Welcome back to TLTG Reviews, my friends. Glad you came to see me. So, we're talking about bargain bin buys right now. Everything on this list is going to be under $15. You've seen them around, you've seen them at rack stores, you've seen them at dollar stores. Some of these anyways, not all of them. Um, they're cheap. They're real cheap. But are they worth even spending the $8 to $15 that they're going to cost? Should you just save your $8 or $10? Or should you consider buying them? Find out and stay tuned. Shall we begin? So with this first one, this is, in my opinion, one of the more popular spice bomb type smells. It's pretty much a clone of it. You see this all over. You can't walk into a rack store without seeing Beverly Hills Polo Club fragrances. They're super cheap. A 50 ml like this is going to run you about 12 bucks. You can get them on clearance for nine or 10 bucks all the time. And this, in my opinion, is the best one and it's kind of a must have. If you're looking for a really cheap fragrance that smells good anyways, Beverly Hills Polo Club Blaze. Smells pretty much just like Spice Bomb. Does it perform like Spice Bomb? Nah. It's a bit more synthetic, for sure. But man, it smells so close. And it's just, if you love a good spicy fragrance, you're on a mega budget, you want Spice Bomb, you've tried it at the department stores, but it's just not working out. You can't afford to spend the money on it. Even online with discounters, it's not really super cheap or anything but you could spare 10 bucks this is pretty close and in my opinion there's one on this in this video to get Beverly Hills Polo Club Blaze for sure even if you already have Spice Bomb it's still really good in my opinion next this is super cheap and it's supposed to be Dior Sauvage and it does smell pretty darn close to the Eau de Toilette it takes what's already a very chemical synthetic smell because it's an Ambroxan fragrance and manages to make it smell cheaper and more synthetic because it is a very, very cheap fragrance. You can get this in the $10 or less range. But you know what? It smells like Dior Sauvage and it actually projects pretty hard for a little while. Doral Collection. Twilight Wilderness. Yes, this smells pretty dang close to Dior Sauvage. It becomes a little bit more synthetic than Sauvage already is, but I mean, Sauvage is a very synthetic fragrance. It's dominated by a man-made synthetic, you know, aroma chemical, Ambroxan. Smells pretty much just like it. Projects pretty hard for a little over an hour. Doesn't last forever. A couple of hours and it's gone, maybe three hours at best. But you know what? You're going to spend 10 bucks or less on a 100 milliliter bottle, a big 3.3 ounce. And I'm telling you, if you don't tell anybody, it's not Dior Sauvage. They're not going to know any different, really and truly, because it smells pretty much just like Dior Sauvage. So, once again, this is for those on a mega budget. If you're looking, you got 15 bucks or less to spend on a fragrance, you're looking for something that smells just like Sauvage, the Rao Collection, Twilight Wilderness, pretty much smells just like it for a fraction of the cost. Next, you can find this one all over at Discounters Online. You can find them at Marshalls quite often, especially in a 50 milliliter bottle size like this. It's around 12 bucks. You can find them on clearance for nine or $10. You can get one ounce bottles for under 10 bucks. You can get big 100 milliliter bottles for under 20 in that 15, $16 range. It's cheap. It's from a youthful clothing store. It's from Hollister. It's Wave 2, but it smells pretty much just like Invictus Aqua. And it's actually a decent performer too. A good five to six hours smells great. It really does. This is one of my favorite cheapies for the summertime. It's great out the shower. It's great for a casual day. Hell, it's great to wear to work. I just love smelling. It smells great. This is another one of those, you know, buy it anyway. If you have a bunch of stuff that smells like Invictus Aqua, this will fall right into that. This is easy grab and go stuff. This is great for a teenager. 
This is great if you're just on a severe budget and you only got a couple bucks to spend and you need a new fragrance and you want something really fresh, really inviting that everybody's going to like the way you smell. Hollister Wave 2. It'll get the job done. It's super cheap. Now, this is a cheap vintage classic. Not the best performer. Screams Spring to me. It's made my cheapy spring list. Um, it's a great fragrance. Noe over at Titan Fragrance Reviews. He loves this fragrance too. Shout out to you, Noe. So, you're going to see this at the rack stores a lot. You're going to see this at Belks, Burlington, uh, Burke's Outlet. They always have it there. Marshall's has it frequently. TJ Maxx, Ross, all these different places. They're always out. I can't, I, I don't, couldn't tell you the last time I went to Ross Dress for Less and they didn't have the men's and women's version of Lucky You from Lucky Brand. 100 milliliter bottles gonna run you like 10, 12, 13 dollars. Smells great. The bamboo note, the grass is really realistic in it. It's got a grassy note. The color of the juice is very fitting. It's a very green fragrance. It's very fresh. It's very relaxing. It's a great casual fragrance. If you're on a severe budget, once again, Lucky You is a timeless, cheap classic. A lot of people have had bottles over the years. That's why they still make it to this day. Because it just it gets it done for you. You need something, throw on a t-shirt, you're about to go run some errands, give yourself several sprays, get on out the door. It's relaxing. It's great. It's people pleasing. Synthetic. And it's cheap. It's a bargain bin stud. That's Lucky You from Lucky Brand. Strongly advise. Get a bottle of this. You're bound to like it because it smells great. Lucky You by Lucky Brand was actually a Liz Claiborne fragrance. Well, this is a Liz Claiborne fragrance too. This is a timeless classic. They're everywhere. The flankers for, the, for this fragrance are everywhere at all these different stores and they're cheap. This is bargain bin special stuff right here as well, but it's pretty versatile. It's great to wear to work. People love the way it smells. It's familiar. It's Curve. This is probably the most recognizable fragrance on this video, really and truly. It smells great. It's a decent performer. It's mega cheap. If you're on a budget and you need a fragrance that can do pretty much everything, work in every situation, can be a signature scent for you, as it has been for many people over the years, Curve will get the job done. Never was really a powerhouse in performance, always a mediocre, moderate at best type of performer, but it's always smelled great. It's always been relatively cheap. And nowadays, you see bottles everywhere. I would say, before you even consider any of the flankers to it, get you a bottle of the original. The original's great. It really is. You can get a big 4.2 ounce bottle for around 15 or 16 bucks. A 75 ml like this, you can get for like 10, 11 dollars super bargain bin type of stuff and kind of a must have especially for beginners um, but like i said big time budget don't have a lot to spend versatility right here with curve so you're looking for something geared more towards the evenings kind of a date night type of fragrance so you can always find these at walmart you can find them online this is another bargain bin type of fragrance uh, the bottles have changed over the years they don't really look like this anymore but these are from the line of Playboy. So this is actually similar to the Armani Code type of scent. Obviously more synthetic because it's a Playboy fragrance. We're talking about Playboy Hollywood. I actually have it on my wrist right now. I've always loved the way this one smells because I love Armani Code. It smells pretty much just like Armani Code. And it's like, I don't know, seven bucks for a 50 milliliter like this. It's super, super cheap. And they just work. Same thing with New York. Playboy New York smells kind of like Mont Blanc Legend and Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. You know, it's got that type of scent DNA going for it. This is geared towards the evenings because it's a beloved DNA. It's a date night seductive DNA. It's, it's Armani Code on the cheap. This is the bargain bin version, in my opinion. Playboy Hollywood, it'll get it done for you. You know, you spray this, people are going to think you smell good. Your date is going to like the way you smell. She's not going to know any difference that it's not actually Armani Code. If she's a fan of it or even can tell that it's Armani Code. But the one thing she will think is that you definitely smell good. And it might score you some brownie points. Playboy Hollywood. 
And then last, this one you don't really see all the time. Uh, there was a stretch last year where I was seeing it a lot and I decided to pull the trigger. And this is probably going to be the most difficult one to find in this video. But if you see it and you like vanilla and amber, sandalwood type of smells, I strongly suggest getting your hands on Beauty of Nature Amber Woods. It's a very good performer. You can see $13 from Marshalls. These, this is one of those bottles that's just sitting on the shelf. No box, no nothing. That you'll be able to smell before you buy. And I'm telling you, it smells great. Oh man, it's sandalwood, sharp, sharp type of... Like, the sharpness to it is really attributed to the combination of the amber, the sandalwood, and then there's a sweet vanilla that comes in in the background. This stuff just smells great. It's very therapeutic for me. I find it to be a relaxing scent in the evenings. That's when I like to smell this one. It's synthetic, but not overly synthetic like some of the others in this list. Uh, but it's definitely one that's worth every penny. It's an eau de parfum concentration, according to this. Now, does it give you 8 to 10 hours? No. But it will give you 5 to 6 for sure. It's a decent performer, especially for the $13 you're going to spend. And it doesn't smell like a bunch of other things. Like, it's a very simplistic note breakdown. It's what you see in the listing is what you get. And it's amber, sandalwood, and vanilla. To my nose is what you get in this. And it's a beautiful smell. And the name is fitting. Beauty of nature. Amber Woods. Well, that was the seven, guys. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Do appreciate all the feedback. I love hearing from you guys. How many of these do you have already? How many of these have you had in the past, such as Lucky You and Curve? Um, believe it or not, the Rao Collection, pretty good Dior Sauvage Cologne. Uh, clone, sorry. Uh, and it's super, super cheap. Decent performer. It doesn't perform as well as Dior Sauvage, but hey, keep it in your bag and refresh because it smells pretty dang close. And uh, this is definitely some bargain bin specials. And if I was to say buy one off this list, Beverly Hills Polo Club Blaze. If you like spicy fragrances like I do, because it smells just like Spice Bomb. And until next time, I will say, if you get your hands on any of these, you give them a spray now, you might end up thanking me later. Because you just save some money and you smell great. Have a good one, guys. Repeat, this is not a drill.